Boundary of Simple Shapes, Part 2 In this video, you will learn what is a boundary and why and how is the boundary of a shape measured. Rayansh, let's go for a walk. Papa, why do you go for a walk? I don't enjoy it at all. Walking keeps the body healthy. The doctor says that a person of my age should walk at least 6 kilometers per day. So, do you walk 6 kilometers every day? Yes, 3 kilometers in the morning and 3 kilometers in the evening. But how do you know that you have walked for 3 kilometers? It's very easy. You can find it the same way I found out. How? I will tell you. In the park where I go for my walk, the enclosure made for walking is of the shape of a square. One side of its length is 250 meters. Now you tell me how many rounds do I have to walk to complete 3 kilometers? You mean I have to find the length of this boundary? Yes. Okay, I will try. Papa, it is a square shape. That means all its sides will be 250 meters each. Now we add these four sides. Wait, Rayansh. What happened, Papa? Instead of adding the same number four times, it is better to multiply this number by four. Oh, yes. I didn't think of that. Now we can find the length of this boundary by multiplying the length of an edge by 4. So tell me, what is the length of the boundary? 250 multiplied by 4 will be 1000. That means the length of this boundary is 1000 meters. And how many kilometers is 1000 meters? 1 kilometer. Alright. Now tell me, how many rounds do I have to take of this boundary to complete 3 kilometers? For a 3 kilometer walk, you have to take 3 rounds of this boundary. Perfect, Rayansh. And this is what I do. I take 3 rounds of this boundary. This tells me that I have walked 3 kilometers. Oh, now I get it. You walk 3 kilometers in the morning and 3 kilometers in the evening. This way, you walk 6 kilometers every day. Yes, Rayansh, that is what I do. How many kilometers should I walk daily to stay healthy? Children should play in the park to stay healthy. That is why I am taking you to the park. You play and I'll take a walk. Okay, Papa, let's go. Rayansh, I have bought the farm next to our farm. Now our farm is bigger than before. Does that mean its boundary would have also increased? Yes, and therefore you have to find out the length of its boundary. Okay, tell me the measurements of the edges of all sides and I will tell the length of the boundary. I have written the measurements of all the sides of the field on this paper. You tell me the length of the boundary. Okay. This farm has six sides. By adding all these, I can find the length of the field's boundary. Yes. Tell me, what will be the length of the boundary? 9 meters added to 5 meters is 14 meters. 14 meters added to 9 meters is 23 meters. 4 meters added to 23 meters is 27 meters. 27 meters added to 22 meters will be 49 meters. If we add 21 meters to 49, the answer will be 70 meters. That means the length of our farm's boundary is 70 meters. You are right, Rayansh. Now you have learned how to calculate the length of the boundary. Now you can help those people in the village who do not know how to measure the length of the boundary. Today we have learned that to find the length of the boundary of any shape, the length of all its sides are added. And irrespective of how many sides or edges there are in a shape, the method to find the length of the boundary remains the same.